Shalom, family. I am your servant, Brother David Yah. As I was reading the scriptures today, as you may know, Abba Yah has called me to read the entire book of Et Sefer to his called out assembly on the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, well, his YouTube channel, What Saith the Scripture? And as I was reading today's portion, the, I mean, Abba Yah through the Ruha HaKadesh revealed something amazing to me, and that is through his name Yah, we have the letter Y, and I'm going to show you with the, this palette down here. Okay, so we got the letter Y. Right, the letter Y for Yah. Well, look at what happens. Through that letter Y is the path that leads to destruction and the narrow compressed path. So you've got all the people, mankind, living life. And the only way to get to be with Yahuwah, or to be with Yah forever, we've been deceived. I used to be an atheist. I was a Buddhist. I studied uh, Judaism. Uh, I was a Jew for a little bit. I went to synagogue for like a day or something. Uh, there's uh, so many things I've done in my life. I was a born-again, Bible-believing Christian since 1998, King James only for about a year. And then Yah revealed to me in these end times something amazing that has been a deception and that is we think we can get saved and just uh, and then be with the lord forever once saved always saved the scriptures do not teach that read them listen to them with me as i read them and find out something amazing is the only way to get to be with yah forever is the compressed and narrow way the way Yah's way. Yah way. Yah's way. And when you go through this narrow compressed way, then you will go to heaven. Yah way. Yahashua is the way the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And what I was seeing was this. Everyone that thinks they're just going to be fine, they're going to go to be with the Lord, they're going to go to heaven, I'm saved. Once saved, always saved. I think that's the deception. I think they'll end up in, the scriptures are clear, they're going to end up in the lake of fire. They're going to be cast away. Now, how do we find this narrow path, compressed path? I think it's real simple. I think there's 613 laws in the Old Covenant. Well, there's the number of man, six, and then there's 13 is a curse if you don't follow them. You just got to follow all those laws. Now, it sounds crazy because it's like, well, wait, we're saved by grace. Well, we're saved by a faith that works. And faith means to pitch your tent with Yah. Elohim. Pitch your tent with Yah. That's a daily process. Remember in the old covenant, which is not, I mean, it's, it's still active and, and valid for us. As long as these are things that Yah has not completed, like the animal sacrifice. Um, but here's the thing. If you listen to the scriptures with me all the way through from Genesis to Revelation, including all the lost books that we're about to read, Lord, Yah willing, then I believe Yah will reveal to you from faith to faith everything you need to know. 
You're not going to need to worry about it. Just faith to faith. Whatever was in your past, if you're still following Jesus, he's going to reveal to you Yah and Yahshua. So just do not be afraid. Follow the spirit, the, the dedicated spirit, and listen to these readings that I do. Because this is what the readings, this is what Yah's word promises us if we listen to these readings. For therefore, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living Yah who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. Let no man despise your youth, but be an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in love, in ruach in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in you, which was given you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the elders. Meditate upon these things. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto yourself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, you shall save both yourself and them that hear you.